Hey, it is Friday, December 20th. We're getting close to Christmas. Boy, it took us a long, took me a long time to kind of like get geared up for it this year, you know, being with the medical problems I was having. And, and you know, again, last week, Monday, got kind of freed and started playing the guitar again, started digging up songs that I'd totally forgotten about. I'm not going to play them all right now, though. Maybe I am. Anyway, um, even played a few Christmas tunes. Oh, and, well, I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about, but I also want to play a bunch of stuff because I um, haven't done enough of that lately, I think. Did have, we sent out an email last few days ago, kind of apologizing for no Christmas tunes, but lo and behold, I really had two kind of planned and did finish one. I hope everybody's had a chance. It's only been up for a very, like, couple hours, probably. But um, this was really fun to put together. And I still always screw it up. I got a really lucky playthrough for the lesson, but I think I got all the notes right. I talked about the challenge of playing little melodies that go like this, where the higher note is on the lower string. Let's see what happens. Okay, once through, once through is fine. See, don't try to tell stories in the middle of this song. So far, let's see what happens. This part's easy. Relatively. But then... So anyway, sometimes it works out. That was, that was, anyway. I hope you uh, take a look at, at Rudolph because it really does introduce an interesting idea on the guitar of playing melodies that have higher notes on lower strings and confuses the heck out of your right hand. It's just usually illogical. Uh, what else did we have this week? Oh, and completely out of the blue, so there is a lesson coming on this. <laughs> How's it go? There we go. Oh, stay on the major seven chord. Anyway, I'm not going to play that whole one right now because it just went up as an acoustic snapshot and there is a lesson coming on Danny Boy maybe next week. Um, and what else did I want to talk about? Christmas. Oh, first of all, I want to wish like uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to uh, all my family, our close friends, my partner Matt in Australia, and everybody working their tails off for us there right now to come up with some exciting changes. And uh, our European friends, Vanessa, Karina, Chris. Uh oh, if I start trying to mention everybody, I'll get in trouble. Tom, Dean, <laughs> and uh, David and Andy, even long, long lost, uh, long lost IG Sears. So, and uh, Max down south, who and Jim Bruno, all my teaching comrades, uh, Doug, and uh, let's see, who else did I forget in that group? Dave, Dave Nachmanoff. Okay, so um, I am off in a little while to go play for a bunch of fourth graders. So I was, this morning was printing up printing up some lyrics and reviewing songs of like, what keys do we do? You 
usually deck the halls goes in D. It's an easy one to remember. Deck D. Jingle bells in D too. They don't make great instrumentals. Nothing really, well, instrumentals in D always have a problem of the bass note, unless you go into a drop D tuning, you don't have a really good bass note for, for what's happening there. But it's a good key for singing a lot of those Christmas tunes. Um, but the other one I was working on that I didn't quite get finished, and I will, against my better judgment, we'll tackle this one for you um, in a minute. But if you're still thinking about like last minute gifts for people, I got a few things floating around here that guitar players like. Tuners, like this little snark tuner. Can you see that? Maybe if I hold it right in front of my face, it'll give you a better color, color on it. But these are pretty cool, not too expensive. Now you could also go vintage and probably on eBay, find one of these. This is, I have a couple of these called lock-on tuners, only because we got stuck with six of them about 30 years ago when the company went out of business for copyright infringement. But they're pretty neat. They're, you know, wooden boxes and things like that. Speaking of vintage, I even stumbled upon this the other day. Do not try this at home. But in the olden days, we had capos from a company called Hamilton. Who remembers these things? First of all, they... They're dangerous for your hands. They scratch the heck out of your guitar. They beat up the strings. Oh man, it's all corroded and stuff like that. But every once in a while I, I find this in a box and I think, oh yeah, I gotta never put that on a guitar again. But if you need a collector's item, the Hamilton capo from our childhood. Uh, okay, I think, is there anything else I want to play? I do, I'm, okay. The other lesson I was gonna get to, so I gotta spoil it now because I am probably not going to get to this before Christmas because it's just too darn hard. In order for me to do a good lesson on a song, I have to be able to play it first. So last year, the same way Bethina has been like a lifelong project. This is a tune that I started trying to come up with an arrangement for about 30 years ago, early 80s. Is that almost 40 years ago? Yeah, 35 years ago. And never quite got the feel for it. I was making it too ragtimey or some things like that. Couldn't find, uh, couldn't figure out the chords. There are three different sections and each one is in a different key. And it just causes all kinds of problems in the guitar world. Well, last year, around Christmas Day, I finally settled on an arrangement that I thought, oh, this is going to work. It's just going to be a lot of work to learn the darn thing. And so I uh, um, luckily wrote it all out. And by then it was after Christmas, and I thought, eh, I don't feel like playing that anymore. So uh, if all goes well, there will be a lesson on this like in the next week or two. But it might take you a year. To, if you start working on it now, it might be in good shape by next year. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I never get this. I get it about 80% right most of the time.
sometimes you just totally luck out. That is, I hate to say it, but that's the best I've ever played it. And I got it on tape. I'm never playing it again. That's it for 2019, I think. Might be back next week. Kind of depends on what happens. Hope everybody has a good vacation, good holiday, good time with family and friends, and play some guitar.